All right, what's going on, family? So, I want to throw a disclaimer out here before I make this video. Uh, I'm not talking about all police, you know, all uh, the, the, the police, many of them, okay? Uh, many of you guys, and I think there's about a million uh, law enforcement out here, local and state, are doing a fine job, you brave men and women that are upholding the law, okay? Uh, I've worked or I've known guys and women that worked for the police force. Some are re approaching retirement. Some are already retired, okay? I did a little bit of security guard work myself, a little armed security guard where you have to learn a lot of the same tactics as you would for police because you're going to be arresting people, you know, did a little bit of infantry myself in the military, you know, did things like, I don't know, bomb searching and detaining and that type of thing. All right. So I know a little something about that. The, as far as the rules of engagement, I know a lot, not everything, but a lot. Weapons training and all that. I've trained people. I've trained experts. Okay, but you still have some. You've got mail that are um, bad apples. Some that are put in. You know, they were just put in the, in that position, and there many of them are just there for a check, okay, or to pad up their resume for another endeavor or another or another promotion, okay. That kind of thing. That's how they end up making their living. You know. So I want to talk about this Chief C.J. Davis. And I've looked at a lot of different uh, chiefs of the police chief residing over the Memphis police, but particularly that Scorpion unit that uh, dealt with Tyree Nichols, and I, I thought it was fairly brutal from what I saw. And you know it was alleged, I say alleged, that a lot of that may have had something to do with a woman, okay, that Tyree Nichols might have been speaking with that were dating one of those police officers. Again, I'll say alleged, okay, but there's still no excuse for them to, 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 to beat that, dog, uh, that dude up and just killed this guy like a dog. Okay, but back to the, that chief, that particular chief, I've heard a lot of unfavorable things about that woman, uh, that she was at one time the police chief of the Scorpion unit in Atlanta, Georgia, as well as Durham, North Carolina. And at one point in time that she accepted the job to serve uh, the police force in Memphis, Tennessee. And it was say very similar incidents like uh, Tyree Nichols uh, in those cities that there have been many complaints about police brutality and mistreatment. Uh, I saw an article today about uh, that chief where there was others that made complaints similar okay, about uh, police bruta uh, brutality. A police chief had, uh, th had threatened uh, a guy uh, that blow his brains out Okay, with his hands up, he didn't have any, weapon, uh, any weapons on him, anything like uh, the, the, to that nature. Okay. So there's been, you know, uh, there's been complaints about this woman and about the task force that she's been, been in. Now, I don't know if these things are orchestrated, okay, or they... Some of these cops and some of these politicians as well, or some of the people in judicial system, judges, prosecutors, okay, that they build up these type of, you know, incidents like this and charges so they can make, pad charges so they can make the next promotion, okay? I do know that stuff is going on. For example, Kamala Harris, okay, there's been several complaints, okay, and I live in, I live in here in Nevada, I've been here for 15 years about her when she was city, uh, district uh, attorney in the state of California, she uh, padded 
3,000, okay, cases of, of black arrests, of black men, and maybe some of them were, were, were legit, legit, but it's alleged that she had padded up a lot of those different, those incidents just so, you know, she can get that, that job at the, the state of California, okay, uh, district attorney of that, of that particular state, respectively, California, okay, the so-called vice president. Okay, but let me let you know something. It's my understanding that Chief Davis and I have a problem calling her chief. That she was pretty much put in that position, from my understanding, again, from my understanding, from the mayor of Memphis, okay, as a token to reside over that, that particular, you know, police department, all right? Because a lot of that does have to do with uh, relationships, Okay, you have to look at it like this. I believe in this what they call this corporate structure. Okay, that I think that a lot of these black officers, and let me tell you something. Don't be thinking if they're black officers, if you look like me in these communities, that things things are going to be different because they're going to wrap your ass up just like a a white officer. Okay, because they do have a job they have to do. Okay, but what I have a problem with is going overboard with it, but particularly a case like uh, Tyree Nichols, okay? Uh, I believe that a lot of these uh, police chiefs are under just extreme duress, particularly C.J. Davis, okay? Because I think that the government officials want a certain agenda as well, okay? They want to clean up, and they get these people in office or in these positions like the police chief to, to do the job and who they feel that's is best to do the job. But what I want to say in, in this corporate structure, a lot of these black or these uh, officers, uh, these women that they're getting used as pawns, but, but particularly like the woman, okay? And that's any woman are getting pretty much used like a pawn. And if you look like me, you're in the bottom of the totem pole. So guys, you need to be very, very careful, okay? So that's all I'm saying. Uh, but what I want to say is uh, she's probably as a police chief and probably a lot of these different, a few, uh, many other women that are put in these positions like that, government positions, okay, that they're, again, they're, they're puppeted, but then again, they're happy just to accept the job, okay? And a lot of these, uh, what and they get put, black people, uh, I think that they get put in, re in police departments with bad reputations, but particularly like cities where there's largely like African-American, okay, or Lat uh, Hispanic, that's if they're Latino uh, police officers, okay, where the police forces had a lot of problems dealing with you know, minorities, blacks and Hispanics, okay? Furthermore, they get put in the worst precincts, all right, in the police force, all right? Uh, these these precincts with bad reputations, you know, just to clean it up. When it's If it's cleaned up, then it's usually somebody else gets the credit, like the mayor, or I hate to say this, I'm going to say it though, non-black. OK. All right. The, the police chief may get a little bit of credit, but not the credit that uh, if you look like me, they may not not the credit that they deserve the full credit. If they don't, then. They get a bad bullet on their resume. I hope you all under, uh, understand that. OK, it's all like a one like a woman like her could do uh, to do the even to get a job and be able to keep a job doing the police uh, as a police chief, okay? But I do uh, uh, think that she was under, you know, under duress, doing whatever the mayor uh, told her to do. And she's not the only one. They're all across the country, all in different corporate, you know, entities and all that. So that's what I just think, okay? In the meanwhile, I told you before that these police got a job they got to do and don't, do not underestimate anybody like, because they're female or because they're, they're black or Hispanic or whatever, okay, that 
you get caught, okay, to cooperate to, to, to the police, okay, because you want to defuse, okay, because I'm thinking if you try to buck the police, you're just going to make matters worse, okay? So that's just my my take on that position with uh, the Chief C.J. Davis. Let me know what you, your thoughts.